Hello everyone. Guess what day it is? It's my day off. <laughs> so, I'm so tired. It's my day off, but I do not have a chance to rest because I'm doing a lot of errands. But anyway, I got a letter. It's a letter from the new postmaster general. Okay, let's. I'm gonna open it and read it. This is from Louis DeJoy. He is the new postmaster general, CEO. He was appointed by President Donald Trump. So, uh, keeps. Keep your fingers crossed because we don't know what he's going to do. But anyway, let's read this letter. Dear colleague. Okay, so he is addressing us as colleague. On June 16, I was truly honored to be sworn in by our governors as the nation's 75th Postmaster General. I'm humbled to serve our country alongside you and the 63,000 men and women of the Postal Service. Oh, okay. 63,000. Prior to joining the Postal family, I spent more than 35 years growing and managing a dynamic and diverse nationwide logistics company. So, I wonder what company was that? We were successful as a business by delivering value to those we served and continually earning the loyalty of our customers. These are also fundamental attributes of the Postal Service. So, he's trying to say that he got a background in logistics and he thinks that it is similar to the Postal Service. But... He came from a uh, private company. I guess he owns the company. But I don't know he, if he got a background in federal, you know, federal government. And I don't know if he knows anything about unions. I don't know if he, he knows anything about um, the culture of postal service or USPS. Anyway, I'm going to skip to the very last end of his letter because, you know, he's just introducing and saying how impressed he is by the Postal Service and how inspired he is. So, he said that uh, the rich history of our organization is defined by constant evolution and by continually changing and improving to better serve the public. And yet, as a business with a public service mission, the Postal Service today faces significant financial challenges that may be solved. Also, oh, he thinks that uh, uh, he can help in solving the financial challenges. Let's wait and see. America wants and deserves a financially strong postal service that can invest in the future and adapt to the tremendous opportunities that lie ahead. Together, we will pull the postal service on a successful trajectory for generations to come. So, uh, right now, this is all talk, and talk is cheap. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, he just got seated, so... He got a lot of years to do something if he wants to improve it. So, uh, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt and I am welcoming you, Mr. Luis DeJoy, as the new Postmaster General. You know, I don't judge people, <laughs> but uh, we will know it according to his uh performance and uh, hopefully 
he will help the United States Postal Service in its financial challenges. So let's see. Let's wait and see what he's going to do. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Mr. Louis DeJoy. And uh, hopefully you can really help us. You can really help not just me and my co-workers, but the entire postal service. So, uh, I guess that's my um, welcome message to the new Postmaster General. And I hope you too enjoy this video of welcoming the new Postmaster. 